Once again, it's the holiday season. It's Christmas 2022. As we take a nice, joyous... Oh, don't do that, Tony. You just drove me up the wall. <laughs> what is this dog it's doing Chugi. here? Is that... That is... Oh, my God. The dog okay. is Chugi. We can all Did you that. discover okay. that? Like, the, do- <laughs> the dog Did you is discover Toby. that accidentally during, like, a serious meeting? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver, the weekly show where car and driver editors, staffers, contributors, friends, and a lone road and track staffer shop for cars online based on a challenge. This week's challenge was to find the perfect car for Santa Claus. Santa, uh, his sleigh is not working. The reindeer are on strike or there's been a labor shortage and the reindeer aren't available. Uh, So he needs to buy a new car. So we're going to go around and see what everyone picked for Santa to buy. We set a limit of $30,000 and away we went. Uh, We're joined this week by our favorite contributor, Mr. Jonathan Ramsey, our video mastermind, Mr. Carlos Lago. Sorry, Carlos, I couldn't remember your title. Mastermind's good. (laughs) 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 Senior editor, Alana Scher. Senior Editor Joey Caparella, Road and Track Senior Editor Mr. John Perley Huffman, and Executive Editor Mr. Casey Colwell. Perley, you want to go first? I do want to go first. I think that one thing you can say for sure is that this is the most expected choice you could possibly have if you know me, <laughs> which is, of course, is that means I picked a Tundra. And I picked this beautiful red Tundra. I mean, it's a <laughs> let's 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 look at it this way, okay? It's the right color. Scroll through the photos. Wait, so it's like, okay, that's, that's, look, that's a little that's a little dark for Santa to be. I know right, it's though. not dark. It's, <laughs> Santa, Santa, look, it's a little brighter. See, look at that. Hmm. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful truck. Hmm. It's four wheel drive. And where is the tundra? The tundra is in the Arctic. Where's Santa Claus? He's in the Arctic. He needs. Oh, wait, wait, drive. hold on. Where is the hold tundra? On. That's good. Where? That's good. No, no, really? no, no, no. Where, tundra. Where is this is this is a play on words. It's not. Oh. Uh, no, no, I like it. <laughs> what are you I'm, talking about? No pun. Oh, sorry. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Casey. Yeah. Giving right. you a point you have, you have, for that. You have a problem with this? You with the name that the fact that the name is it's, it's exactly no, appropriate. No, no, no. I I thought I thought the actual truck was in the Arctic. The no. tundra okay. is anywhere you want it to be. <laughs> tundra. State of mind. Have we ever had a show go off the rails so thoroughly so soon? <laughs> it was never <laughs> on quickly. Yeah, this this is a show about Santa Claus, and you're saying it was on rails. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, it is yeah. about a sleigh. I should yeah, get it. I should get it. I get a point for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, Pearly. Where? Uh, why is this uh, the perfect car for Santa? It's extremely reliable, and that matters when you're Santa Claus. <laughs> okay. He's driving it for one night. That's right. What are you right. talking yeah. about? It's reliable. It's got to run for one night, Jonathan. It's, it's got to run, run for, for a few hours. It's got to run for one night, and it's, it's maxed gotta... out because it's going all around the world, delivering blizz billions of gifts. It Not all around the world. Not all around the world. All around the world, right? So you're going all around the world because it's all fictional, anyhow. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what? Santa Claus is real. Yeah, what are you talking Santa about? Is <laughs> put put the kids to bed for this one, because <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and the huh. thing is, is that you know, I think I speak. I I can speak for Santa Claus being the only old white fat guy here, and so this is this is this is it. This is, this is the, what Santa Claus wants. He wants a Tundra, first generation, the best one of the Tundras. Probably and, walk course, us through the listing. Okay, the listing is this one's a low mileage. Hold on a second here. Oops. Oh, my oh boy, <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it this one is uh, it's only got sixty nine thousand miles on it. It's four wheel drive, which is important. It's a two thousand four, which means it has the four speed automatic, not the five, if I remember correctly. And it's in fantastic condition. It's an SR five, which is my favorite uh, trim, which is the same as mine. This is basically my truck, except mine's black. Where is it? This is in Colorado. Which is pretty close to where Santa Claus vacations. <laughs> where does Santa Claus vacation? Vail. Vale. Well, <laughs> so, Vail is in Colorado. Well, I know that's what I'm close. saying. He's picking up all these. He's picking up all these in Vail, and uh, I think it's it's a, it's a beautiful truck. It's in great shape, and uh, it's it's. And does, really... does Santa Claus like cloth interior, or is he a leather guy? No, Santa would... Claus definitely goes for cloth. You okay? Okay, yeah. you say right. so. Okay, and uh, a nice and... knit. I know I look. I know I'm not going to win this one because this is such a. Oh, here we go, Mike. Hundred percent, Mrs. Claus <laughs> knits up some throws to go over those seats. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. But this is it. I've done. 
Let's go on to whoever. Let's go on to whoever's next. Oh, there's a video. Let's see. I don't know what the video. Oh is. boy, <laughs> why do you always have <laughs> the video button? Don't do the video. Hey, Carlos, works. you're here. You might as well just edit now. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. In real time. Exactly. <laughs> and we're back. And time and code notes now. Okay. All right, you Carlos, you want to go next? Yeah, and I prepared a bit of a presentation because I did some digging into uh, the Santa Claus character. And <laughs> the way I start, the way I like to start these uh, challenges uh, when I'm on is I like to go by needs and then try to fit the price around those needs, right? So I made a little document here that explains what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I dug some data, right? So NORAD has a Santa tracker. And they say Santa's out basically for 23 hours, okay? So convert that time into seconds, whatever. I went and found, just to keep things kind of simple, the amount of households in the United States, the contiguous United States, estimated <laughs> to be celebrating Christmas this year. I know it's worldwide, but you'll see that won't matter as we get <laughs> further into it. So if you divide the number of households by the amount of time Santa has, he has like eight millionths of a second per house to drop off his gifts, right? So- <laughs> pressure's on okay so this amount of time he has at each right, household but you got to get a good you got to get a naughty and nice you know factor in there too <laughs> what you think well, there's like a delta between cold. like cold delivery and present yeah. delivery it's not any faster yeah he's still he's still dropping off coal right oh, you don't think he's in just chucking coal out the window we'll get we'll get to coal hold on a second we'll get there. he picked he picked a coal powered this is, car this is this is step one Step two is determining the speed it. he needs and this, to go. Oh my God. This is keeping it simple for Carlos. So, <laughs> I love. If you take if you take the surface of the contiguous United States, right, and then estimate the average distance between households at three quarter of a mile, so you end up with like a seventy million five hundred thousand mile travel distance in twenty three hours. That means Santa has to go three million miles an hour, right? to make the time to do everything in 23 hours, just in the U S just in the contiguous U S right. So and that's average I mean, speed. That's average. speed. That's average speed. Yeah. That's not including acceleration. Yeah. Hey, or stopping. cookies and milk. It's going to go 3 million <laughs> miles an hour on average. Right. So then we're talking about payload that he needs, right? Just assuming every household gets three gifts and the average weight per gift is two pounds. He's got to carry 564 million pounds in this vehicle. You guys, I don't think Santa's real. <laughs> no, no, That's you're so you're not factoring in magic. Crazy that talk. Was yeah. the longest setup. And I was gonna say it out. How, how long have you known about this challenge, Carlos? How long have you known about Carlos, this? I'm just gonna just <laughs> if you, you, if you can tighten that up. If you can tighten that up, we got a winner. You're okay. not factoring <laughs> so in magic, Carlos. Well, so that's that's the only other option, right? He he's yes. just magical. So what I chose no 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 hold on hold on hold on. The speed of light is like six hundred one thousand miles per second, not per oh six hundred one million. He's got time. He's got time. <laughs> Look at that. So, so right. I went to think of a vehicle that could, uh, you know, at least get somewhat proportional to the speed and proportional to this kind of payload capability. And what I came up with was a red Mustang Cobra from. 2003, 2004, and I actually chose two. And the reason why is this one's the right color, but it's kind of questionable inside. Uh, but this one's a convertible. And if I think about like the Santas that I'm used to seeing at, um, actually, I should say at the malls. Santa I'm used to seeing at oh, malls yeah. and Lots in parades, it's going to be a chrome wheeled Ford Mustang convertible that's painted red. So this car is still under budget. So you can go to Mako, get it, you know, Santa red, get the Coca Cola sponsorship on it, right? And you'll be good. How many miles on the gray one? The gray one's 130,000, and it's 23 grand. So you got money left over, right? To paint it, yeah. Paint it. You get a spectacular paint job for, <laughs> what, eight grand, seven grand? You can get an okay paint job for eight grand. I was going to say, that you, you can't get, that car? That's you can't really get a good expensive. paint job for Mako for any money. Start at 15 and go up from there. Mako's are 15? No, no, no. Mako's Under. aren't, but you can't get a decent paint job for Mako at any price. You oh. get a decent job, paint job for eight grand on a 2003 Ford Mustang. How about that? <laughs> that, <laughs> yes. Out. Bring it to Kentucky. We can get you done. It'll anyway, be red. That's my spiel. <laughs> so this is the blower. This is the... Wait, go back. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have more to say. This was like 385 horsepower? Is that what it was? 360, 390? Around there? It, Actually, it? I pulled up uh, the old Car and Driver article on it. These Pardon are, me while we... Uh, these these are really car, quick. Right? These are really yeah, these quick. are these were quick but for I mean, 2003. Look, come on. What, when the IRS, in it. the independent rear suspension was, yeah, uh, was, was a big these deal. These are wonderful too. cars. These are wonderful cars. They they're not wonderful. Yes, they are. They really are. Yeah, the have seating you seen the interior? 
I wouldn't uh, want to sit in the seating strong. position for 23 hours, though, Carlos. They're pretty uncomfortable. And the clutch is super, super heavy. Yeah, but you're going so fast that you get it done faster. Yeah, right? and they're, they're only uncomfortable on roads, Tony. Only but on he's roads. He's got to be in it for 23 hours, according to your data. Well, also, the, the, the payload on this is just subadequate. I mean, so is the speed relative to the need. So, like, we're already <laughs> in magic the land. Trunk, the trunk space is really the only argument I have against this, Carlos. I mean, they, they're pretty small trunk. <laughs> That's the one that makes sense. I'll, ta I'll, I'll take also, that. That's and also, fair. And also, you know, the thing is, is that, you know, since he's going to be delivering things and everything else like that, I really think he needs an automatic. Really? You know, Why? Stick? I No, I agree with you, Pearly, because it's a lot of stop and go. And also, he's on a lot of roofs, and they're really slanty. And, you know, I mean, <laughs> it just takes, like, one time where you forget to set the parking brake, and the next thing you know, bam, <laughs> Mustang yeah, in somebody's head. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that would make it easier to jump start, uh, to roll start, when uh, things go wrong somewhere over It would be easier to show up without making a lot of noise, too. That, right? too. Hey, if that you think too. Santa drives a stick, tell us in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> can't oh, wait pandering. to see what the comments are going to be like on this. Oh, pandering. No, the comments are going to be like this. okay go on whatever I'm gonna, we'll speculate about that later and we're back <laughs> no pearly do it now the restraint pearly what's with the restraint i was gonna say that it's a christmas gift that's what it is it's a christmas gift it's a christmas miracle <laughs> <laughs> all right uh joey you want to go next I didn't realize everyone was going to take this so seriously. <laughs> well, you thought that was serious. Camry, here we come. <laughs> no, I just Is found something what... dumb. Riata convertible. I, uh -oh. I found this dumb thing from a few years ago that I wrote. I love this and... video. I think it's so cool looking. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. So this is, this your, is this your choice or is this more lead up? No. And then I found this because I don't think oh, you so can you get can this. Like, I, you can't, you're not going to be able to get this for 30 grand. But you can find something pretty similar. You don't think they would do Santa a solid for 30 grand if he said, that's what oh, I got? I'm wondering if, okay, so it's just under budget. Maybe with the leftover 500, what, <laughs> $539, maybe you can. Look, I am willing to cut the roof this. off of anything for $500. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is a 2016 Challenger with a stick. It's got the V8. The, I think this is the 5.7 in the RT, right? 5.7, it's an RT, yeah. So, uh, RT, it's red. Good. It's got red seats, which be. I thought was good. And it's got yeah. the shaker hood. How yeah. many miles are on it, Joey? It has 40,000 miles. Oh, man. It's not bad. Eight, so yeah, you can't get a Hellcat for 30 grand, unfortunately. Although this one was a Hellcat, so. No, I don't think it was. I think it was. Uh, I think it's mostly plastic, that one. Well, yeah, whatever this is trying to be. It has a Hellcat badge on it. Yeah, it has you a Hellcat badge. Hellcat That's badge all that really matters. It's yeah. the right color. I'll give you that. Inside and out. Is Inside it fast out, enough? Yeah. Fast enough for what? Oh, and it's sunroof. <laughs> the sunroof's again. custom, right? Yeah. You saw oh, Carlos' presentation. That yeah, fast. I did. <laughs> Not sure how to react to that. <laughs> yeah, the sunroof does look a little weird. I don't think those were factory. No. Really? Yeah, maybe that's an aftermarket sunroof, which is a I bit. Could be suspicious. wrong. I don't remember those. Does the does the listing say anything about that? Let's see. It's at a Hyundai dealer. Oh, here are the options. Hmm. Well, the problem with this is that you know it's a it's a coupe, which means you can't get in and out of it like that convertible Mustang would be a lot easier to get in and out of. And the, you open that these doors are so big, you're going to hit chimneys with them. Now your Tundra is get hard to get in and out of. It's I mean, so high off the roof, man. Yeah. Tundra, 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 just don't park that close to the Tundra. chimney, Santa. Pretty big trunk, pretty deep. And the good thing is that the Tundra is the rear Ooh. window goes down, so you can pull stuff right out of the trunk. That's the, a the, relative the, pretty big trunk, though. Yeah, it's well, a pretty you know, small for trunk. A muscle in a car. Probably bigger you can totally than get sunroofs from the factory. I was wrong. I fact checked. Okay, so maybe it's not. I got to say that you look at these cars, you know, this car came out in 2008. It's still one of the best looking cars. Yeah. It's yeah, really just good such a good looking car. Yeah. Everything they it did to evolve very, it. It's very timeless. Yeah. And everything, yeah. all the refreshes that they did on it and all they did to evolve it just looks terrific. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just, just an amazing looking car. Still. It is. The one it. thing that's really annoying when I drove a stick shift challenger once, the parking brake is a pedal 
like to the left of the clutch. And it's such a pain to like, when you turn it on, you have to release the parking brake. Well, you have to put it in neutral, release the parking brake. It's well, not, that's how a lot of cars really... used to be. That's like, it just doesn't that's like all yeah, but not now. Well, what, you have to put the car in neutral now. before you release the parking brake. I've never heard of that. No, no. I mean, when you, you turn it on, you have to press right. the clutch. Oh, oh right. Well, <laughs> of course. But You're right. you have to start it. But then yeah. you have to put it in neutral, let off the clutch, let off the parking brake. It's just like an extra step. <laughs> can, can I ask you? You know you what I mean? He's in a hurry. Santa, that's going to cost Santa. Santa. That's in a hurry. Release the parking brake before you start it? You should be I guess to. you could. Yeah, I didn't think of that. And then have your foot on, have your right foot on the brake and your left foot on the clutch. I mean, that's how, how I start. Isn't that, you have, isn't that how everybody starts a manual? Is, wait, wait. All I'm you saying guys is don't you have to think about start? it. start? <laughs> wait, What? <laughs> <laughs> you're all AC bringing the nonsense oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> anyway i don't think this one was a manual yeah i think that's cool can i ask a stupid question no <laughs> okay, yes thank please you. please ask a question what do you think is better looking the original challenger or the second challenge the 2008 challenger the second challenger. challenger i know i you think mean it's like better. the 1970 oh, yeah, the, the, or the new one yeah the new one i think the new one's the, a better looking car the new one what? no way no. wait you mean not. hold on you mean the, in the 70s I mean, yeah, like I 1970 look- versus like 2016. Yes, oh, no. I think, Wait, what do you I mean, I... vintage first and second gen, or the current first and second gen? First, the first, the first Challenger, 1970 Challenger, or the 2008 to, two, to present Challenger. I think the second Challenger is a better looking. But there were two Challengers back then. The other ones. Wait, this, is, about- this is actually the third gen. Um, yeah, well, I'm not, not going to count the Mitsubishi one. Yeah. one. I'm not gonna Joe, count you probably like the Mitsubishi one, one the most. <laughs> yeah, I should have chosen that. No, but I just discovered in this photo gallery the Slay A one is also a stick shift. So, oh, nice. cool, the nice yeah. bonus. Well, those are good shifters too. It was very accurate. Yeah. What do you think that's shifting? Yeah, you should be proud. <laughs> yeah, what is turbines, what exactly obviously. is it shifting? That's a good magic, drive. Casey. Magic. I mean, why does it have exhaust pipes? <laughs> But yeah, they actually built this. I think this was at the LA Auto Show at some point. Yeah, I remember seeing it. it oh, that's the 1320. Real. I went on the launch of the 1320. 1320. Yeah, it was the that's drag one of the million the... special editions. Yeah, one of the oh. it was like designed for drag drag strips. It was the cool. it was the scat pack that was using some of the drag tech that they designed for the demon so that they Oh, could... gotcha. Yeah. I like the they little actually... emblem. I don't think they started with a real car when they built that sleigh. I think they started. Oh yeah, you noticed the the antlers <laughs> on that's the great. Pad. That's really is cute. that what you think, Pearly? They don't. Make that up. I wonder if you can still you know, buy those. Uh, one okay. thing you one thing you gotta give Dodge is like they they do they they've got some really good sense of humor over there. They're designers. Like they don't mm-hmm. take themselves too seriously. Like it's it seems like it's kind of a fun place. Well, I mean, how they have could fun. you? They've been making that car for 14 years. <laughs> like, what's, Maybe they should what's take left to take seriously? seriously. No. <laughs> and, and more power to them. I dig it a lot. But it's like at that at this point. Yeah, but it yeah. just kept getting more and more popular. It's no, totally. Yeah, was like it's, I, it's good. Why would they do that? It, every, other, every other big coupe was dying on the vine and the challengers with sales just kept going up and up and up and up and up. It's an amazing story. It is. It doesn't get as much credit, it get as, much credit as it should for how good that car is. And I still and I think it's it's a perfectly proportioned car. Yes, it, we uh, can save it for the voting perfect. part of the show. But thank you, I don't want to say thank it you, now. Joey. No, I don't want to talk to him. Uh, Alana, you want to go next from yes, one muscle car I'm to maybe ready. another muscle car? <laughs> maybe. No. Oh, right. a muscle truck. So, yes. Um, as as many of us seem to be in agreement on, um, Santa's Santa sleigh needs to be red. Um, no, 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 no. Like... Whoa, no, no. There's no agreement on that. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I I feel... yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. And I, I feel like this is a super Christmassy red. It's like a bright orangey red. Like, um, I think this truck has a good stance. It's uh, and then the oh interior. Caroga special. That you interior. Know, fabulous oh, red interior. Shit. Cloth seat, so he's not oh, sliding around because you know he's wearing velvet. Um, and that's like that would be really slippery. Velvet. Um, what kind of yeah, Santa do Santa you have? Santa's is like red velvet with a white. Yeah, he wears scarf. a red velvet jacket. Yeah, is it velvet? It's a velvet only, suit. Only, only in the valley. So only valley. in the valley. No, no, it, he it's velvet. Valley. I mean, That's not exactly. if you have a cheap Santa, then it's like maybe a weird maybe De- stuff, Detroit but... Santa is wearing um, red what do you velvet. Santa. I also think it's really important that he have an automatic, not just for the parking situation, but because he's got so much stopping and starting that uh, he's going to build a really big clutch leg and then his boots aren't going to fit. And you can ask, <laughs> I can tell you that if you drive a, a stick car in traffic all the time, 
There's no and, traffic and in the air. Will not fit on your clutch leg anymore. There's no traffic in the air. Yeah, but he's got to stop at houses and start again. He's stopping starting every again. 88. He's got <laughs> wait, a wait, a wait a minute! Wait a minute! Look, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Look, anyone who drives this isn't using the clutch anyway. So, so he's got some, um, you know, it's it's all-wheel drive. What Casey? Knobby tires on it. These are massive. <laughs> I think are Cooper. Is he, is, is um, he, they look he, pretty good. Uh, be fine for any weather. I I did try to find a diesel. Um, I think that you know it would have been better, easier to start in cold weather and that kind of thing. But the, I, I easier to start. A nice oh, one. Easier to start in cold weather. Where is he going to plug it in? It doesn't need to because, you know, it's been running. Um, <laughs> look, the bed's all nice. Got room. Wait, you know, why is this the, so It's a bench expensive. seat, so Mrs. Claus nice truck. and oh, Elf, they can all fit in here. Joey, they're all, this, it's crazy. Um, I didn't the realize vintage, these the vintage truck market, so Joey, high. is nuts. It's wow. nuts. Um, vintage, 1993. Um, yeah, so, I mean, not years. that the mileage counts because by the time he's done, with this thing, it's going to, I mean, like what the circumference of the earth is like 25, 24,000 yeah, some miles. Yeah. So once he's done that a bunch of times, you know, a bunch of times, <laughs> what, what is this? This is the lower suited you know, Santa, think, like Superman. This, Look at this door panel this. though. That, that looks real Christmassy. You could, you could hang some lights right across here. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. <laughs> yeah. So this is, this you is can put automatic. your cassettes in here, your Mariah Carey cassettes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So this is so no. This he's is, a Mannheim a, steamroller Christmas kind of person. <laughs> I think. This is an this is an automatic. And the shifter is only for the transfer case, right? Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, right. exactly, Pearly. Yeah. And this uh, is the last year of this body style, which came out in what Alana like seventy one or seventy two or seventy three. Yeah, yeah. It's like twenty four years old. I ran a long time. Yeah, yeah. like the child, um, like the challenger. It's just it's just a really good looking truck. <laughs> I think that everybody would be pretty happy to see him come rolling up in this thing. It's cool. And then it's, it's uh, cool what truck. engine does it have? Uh, it's a 318 or oh, okay. 5.2 liter, I guess, right. is what we would say. And I think point. in 92 or 93, maybe that year, they got um, a big bump in horsepower. They did. They went to the, they went to the, uh, they Magnums. revised the entire intake and they had new heads. I'm trying to remember what they called it back to the Magnum. Magnum, Magnum, Magnum yeah. series. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is not okay, yeah, the very 94. fast truck, but we are, we are depending a lot on magic. Which I yes. I am also going to use in all of my car reviews from now on, Tony. So like when I don't know the facts on something, Casey, I'm sorry, I'm just going to be magic. Like, magic. Yeah. Alana, did you consider it. a little red express? I did, and I looked for a little red express, but again, price wise, they were really pretty crummy in the in the thirty thousand dollar range. range. Yeah, I wanted him pretty. to have something really nice. I feel like you don't you know <laughs> Santa is not a rat rod guy. This stuff is polished. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, Jonathan, quick question. So, yeah. if Santa doesn't wear velvet, what is the material of his clothing? Um, Vinyl. Magic. <laughs> I'm going to stop sharing. We're done with this, right? Yeah. I think, uh, oh, I was just assuming it was sort of, some sort of textile, Latex. but not not velvet. Um, it would be like just a cloth or wool, something to keep him warm. And no, velvet's no, no, it's, not going to keep him warm. Flannel? Velvet's very warm. It's, it's lined. Never, it's lined velvet. Velvet is very thick <laughs> and warm. If I saw, well, if I saw a fat white man in a velvet suit on my roof. I'll, I'll be over saying. later. Oh, what would you do? <laughs> I'll be over later. Like, go home. <laughs> I'd be like, tell me that's not velvet <laughs> and I'll let you down. <laughs> all right, Jonathan, you want to go next? Um, all right. So uh, I don't know how everybody got so close and didn't finish. Well, I don't know how some of us got so close and didn't finish the job when the only real choice is this. Um, class A. I knew you were going to do a class, class A. A. I mean, of course. Like, how could you? Uh, how you could you find not? A red one? It doesn't need to be red. It has well, to be red. Does this even have me. an engine? See, <laughs> yes, it has. It has, not only look. This is a trucker's uh, truck, and Santa is a trucker. Not only does it have an engine. Um, it has a cat, which is the engine you want. It's a 1999, which means he doesn't 95. have to use electronic logs. It says 95. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the, it's before 99. Excuse me. Want. It's before 99. So he doesn't have to use electronic logs. So, yes. uh, so he won't he be tracked. up. He can make up his hours. <laughs> Santa's exactly. right under the table. But, but you're, yeah, you're, well, you're definitely not allowed to go 23 hours straight. Like, um, <laughs> technically, no, you're not, you're not allowed to do John, that. And Jonathan, 
I think that this is one. I think we have a technicality here. The price here is in Canadian dollars. Oh, what is it? Which, how is convert that a technicality? It. So convert, it's please. 18 grand US. It's 18 oh, six nice. US. Okay, okay. I got plenty oh, wait, of money to buy pay wait, red. Wait, wait, but that's an auction. That's just yeah. an no, offer. No, no. It's the a buy, buy now price. Buy, the buy now price is 69,000 yeah. Canadian. Yeah. So you're Jonathan. way over budget. You're way over budget. Jonathan. <laughs> I, I have always wondered this guys do we have a rule about active options? hold on like are we are we we go by the buy it now price yes, I think we we're go by exactly, the active... Alana. Oh, that's man. exactly right we, yeah we i had another buy it now. i had another truck that the was 25 grand, grand by the way, i built another web page that looked exactly <laughs> no, like no, this with a oh my god the Jonathan, what are the steer tires are they michelin's uh no <laughs> what's on that steer axle how's that brake fluid yeah, exactly. That is a uh, th is that just water? It's a rainy day in Canada. That's all that is. Uh, these are safe something tires. How big is the sleeper? Uh, like ninety three inches. I think the, uh, that, the thing that it was. Oh yeah, that's not that's not even a big sleeper. Totally. You know uh, what were you talking about? This is sixty nine thousand dollars Canadian. Well. <laughs> This is so out. It's so far away from the uh, front. You just blew right past the budget, Jonathan. So, Jonathan, in your hey, in your plan, you know is, you know is I, Santa gonna... hauling a trailer? Like, um, is he, is he hauling a box? Or oh my god, this holds more than this holds more than every other vehicle anyone will show. No, no it doesn't. No, it doesn't, Jonathan, because it doesn't have a trailer. It yeah, but it he doesn't need it. All saying, and even so, this holds more than your Tundra. Yes. it holds more than That's the. All true. the 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 story you have to get, yeah, you're gonna have to take the bed out. You're gonna have to take the kitchenette out. You're, gonna have, out. you're yeah. gonna have to take the microwave oven out. You're gonna have to take out the little tiny TV out. But That's what those are all the, presents. The, and those are what elves are. <laughs> those are what elves are for, <laughs> Burley. Yeah, you have to That's remove the DVD do. collection. Um, yeah. yeah. So I had another twenty five thousand dollar truck, which I should have chosen, but I was so excited about this one. Jonathan, Clearly. what was your favorite steer tire uh, when you were doing over the road <laughs> trucking? Well, I don't the steers are, are aren't the biggest deal. It's really the drivers, the ones in the back, because I'll make this quick. They've lately gone to super singles, which is where you have one large, one wider tire. They're really wide. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't want those. I need I need eight tires back there because if one busts, I can still drive and just make sure I don't get caught versus a super single. I gotta pull where over. You're stuck. Yeah. And I can't get the load in. Yeah. Is there a reason why they use super Michelin singles? Michelin will tell you that you're uh, that you go with the super single. It'll be um, less time down. Of course, Michelin would say that, but Michelin is lying <laughs> because again, <laughs> if my super single goes flat, I have to pull over and wait. And if I get if I get a busted dually, then I can you go going. to the next stop and, yeah. and also get it. and exactly. also in this has, in this has anybody fantasy, noticed that sorry. the Santa that's behind Ramsey looks just like KC right now? They're wearing the same outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that KC. That was Alana. <laughs> just, that's fine. Enough. I'll take the blue eyes. I know that uh, just in like this, in this fantasy of yours is is Santa behind the wheel or is an elf behind the wheel? And is Santa just like in the driveway? revving this thing while the elves running in and out with packages do the oh elf, elf, uh, elves do not help santa on the delivery on the on the night yeah they build toys it's oh, the you one don't day take they one have off. shotgun with them Wait, the you don't think off. elves yeah. you don't think elves are out on the run no, no elves, elves elves are done they're taking their day, day off they, uh, they've they had built the threat that's their only day off that's their yeah these guys aren't union yeah all right casey what did you bring for santa well, I, I didn't spend 70 grand. I didn't Canadian. either. It's 69, it's 69 Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, but I did go diesel. Um, here, let me share screen. How do I do that? And uh, nice. oh, I went with a, like, I mean, this is a 450. This isn't a 350. This is a 450. Okay. Oh, man. So, you know, this thing's got payload to spare. Um, under budget. Wow. Um, and uh, it's it's got it's like a hundred. How much? Oh, 28 grand. Okay, 20 grand. How many miles on this? Thing? And look, leather. See, Santa's gonna like that leather. 100, 100, 134,000 miles, which is nothing. Uh, that's nothing. For that's me. yeah, that's I mean, this is this isn't the best power stroke. Oh, in, but yeah, as as... oh, wait, is this a 6 0? 
No, no, it's not a six zero. I think it's a six seven. Oh, okay. I think it's a six seven, right? Is it? Did they go to six seven? Six four. Six, oh, six, four. Six, four. six four. Okay. Six four. Um. Uh, and uh, but not the most loved power stroke, but um, you know, bench. First of all, oh no, it's not bench. This one's not bench, but definitely that was plenty the... of miles back here. Back when um, Ford owned Jaguar Land Rover, that was this is the interior that was inspired by the um, the Range Rover. Range it's a Rover. very it's a copy of the Range Rover interior. Ugh. A copy? <laughs> Only Ford would think that's a copy of the Range yeah. Rover. What you don't but think so? I see it. I see. It. I, I totally I mean, see inspired it. Inspired by. by, 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 by. I think there's an obvious there's an obvious relationship but it's just so cheap. yeah okay i see right, an the material relationship but yeah the materials aren't as good but i mean the, the actual <laughs> like shapes and the yeah, i mean not even design. come on even more than materials look at that that is that, casey that call boy. up a 2004 or 2003 land rover range that boys had a sale how do i do that you know what's the things I, was this was when did they stop using because it used to be that the super duties had their own cab and now they had now they use the same cab as the regular is it so but that's still that's mm. still oh yeah i guess you're right i guess you're right jonathan it is, isn't as much as i thought it's not that close yeah uh, no if you but have you looked at it have you i was gonna say lr4 no oh, was that uh, one more like that it? one uh like 2005 lr4 interior that was lr3 at that yeah point. that's it bingo like, that's, oh that's yeah pretty there close. you go wait that's yeah. no the lr3 well, the is what was out at that point LR3, is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. but Ford knew I should, the LR4 was coming. Knew the LR4 was coming. There it is. Yeah, that's, that's more you're absolutely more. right, Casey. The vents that, that does look like that. <laughs> and <Yeah>. those vertical <laughs> the, the, elements. And the, the eyeball vents. So, guys, do you think anyway. that Santa goes for horsepower or does he rate things in reindeer power? And which has more power, a horse or a reindeer? Horse. Um, well, a horse. His does. reindeer, his reindeer are on the juice big time. So <laughs> I'm gonna go with his. I would agree with that. I would agree with that completely. But I, so I there was some Santa video that just all went all kinds of all kinds of performance enhancing drugs going on there. There was a video you know, that I... just went viral of a reindeer running alongside a train or something. It was running like very fast. <laughs> I thought you were gonna bring up cocaine bear for a minute. <laughs> uh, I we don't need to go there. <laughs> you know, I think I, I don't you think know about good. that story. I did just watch the trailer, and yeah, it's apparently based on a true story. I do. Too. Yeah, yeah, the real story happened. is. Basically, just that the bear ate a bunch of drugs and died, though. Yeah, you spoiled it. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, that's not what's going to happen like in the movie. You could have guessed that from the idea of a bear. Doing also, drugs. pretty sure I might be able to squeeze in um, an air cap. cap on the back. To, Why would you uh, want a cap? He's got things he's dry. Gotta... Just in case, just just in case there's bad weather. <laughs> just in case it's <laughs> some on December in some 24th. location somewhere in the world. Right. If the magic stops working, you might <laughs> it's just a backup. I I could also pull a trailer. Oh, it's yeah, got it a fifth, fifth wheel. Fifth wheel. Cool. Um, but you can't you can't afford a trailer, Casey. So I don't know why you'd bring it up. Neither can <laughs> Jonathan, you can't afford anything. Hey, 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 that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> you can't afford, <laughs> you can't afford your truck, Casey's Jonathan. Presentation. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready to see the winner? Sure. Okay. Is it that time it. already? I yeah, considered I considered the top kick. No. I considered a Mercedes-Benz R63. No. I considered a Oldsmobile Toronado. Ooh. You should have. You should have. You should have. I landed Ooh. on a 67 Eldorado. Oh man. Look at that. Santa colors. Yeah. Faded. This, so I think Santa's kind of a gentleman. You know, he's an older gentleman. Kind of. He appreciates design. He appreciates a classic like this one. <laughs> it's front wheel drive, which, as you guys know, is, is good in the snow. <laughs> but he's in the air. This he's is not good. The, well, air. he's got to stop. He can't get stuck Jonathan's on roofs. head is going to explode. Brakes. You need brakes. You <laughs> have to take, like, have to take off. What's that, uh, really? It's got four wheel disc brakes, I think. Four wheel disc brakes. This, you know, this, this is this you know how many reindeer think? you can strap to the hood of that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't, and the, I don't, but isn't the, the whole trunk. point that there are no reindeer? I, don't, I, don't, I feel I don't like it I'm... does probably hold almost as much as Jonathan's semi truck. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's Absolutely. got a 429 <laughs> with 340 horsepower. It's got hidden headlamps, which are look awesome. How, how I mean, horsepower? this just this is like this has the impact that Santa is looking for in a vehicle. <laughs> you know, this is this is one of the best wait, 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 vehicles. Wait, wait. Is Santa wants to be seen. Such a good looking car. 
<laughs> you know the thing is well, the- yes yes he does <laughs> i mean he's definitely snazzy Fair enough. you know like the man is yeah. not he's not like he's not a sleeper kind of guy you know that's I mean, right his, his he's normal not a thing is a bright Anyone- shiny yeah. sleigh with a glowing reindeer exactly well, and he wears velvet he's dressed in velvet yeah <laughs> I've and never glossy seen- boots and to that point it's got uh mayonnaise and mustard tires it's got vogues <laughs> it's riding on vogues <laughs> Are those are those real Vogues or fake? Yes, Vogues? no, they're real Vogues, Pearly. Oh wow! If I can zoom in. Oh yeah, yeah. they are. Yeah. Vogue that's, tire. Well, that's a that's a premium tire. Bell's tire yeah. with a Y. Yeah. <laughs> is, is that wheel? That is. Those are like an aftermarket wheel, aren't they? I mean, this is like a this is like some sort of snazzy Kelsey Hayes type wheel, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's not... an aluminum wheel. Yeah, and that's it was, cool. Yeah, it's got super high offset since uh because of the front wheel drive. Is that paint like super bad or is it just the photo? Oh no, it's great. No, but it's original and it's old. no, it's not bad. It's super good. bad. I mean, you know, you know, I, I love, I love these cards. I don't like this color combination on this card. I don't think it flatters us. Well, car, it's for Santa, not for you. Don't you. think you don't like this color combo, Pearly? No, no, no. I, no, I'm saying this. This car in black with black vinyl top is amazing looking car. That's I true. Mean, so yeah, this yeah. hood. If Santa was gonna shoot somebody. What? It, that's like bad Santa. I mean, exactly. <laughs> that's like Violent Night. But Still, Violent Night yeah. is a movie I want to see. Has anybody seen it? Has anybody else seen it? No, Pearly. Yeah. So this hood <laughs> is so big that they couldn't stamp it. So it's actually two pieces that are then welded together down the middle, and this seam yeah. hides it. Little fun yeah, it's, fact it's, about this. That should have seven. told them. It's, don't it's make it. Don't do it like that. <laughs> yeah, that should have told them we're doing this wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like we like, can't do this. <laughs> Maybe we should Jurassic ask. Park line. You didn't ask whether you should. <laughs> yeah, the thing that's exactly. astonishing about that about that hood though isn't that it's so long it's that the trunk hood is almost as long yeah the trunk hood yeah, it, no, did you say hard. trunk hood yeah the trunk look how yes. long the trunk hood is this is this you car got your is- childhood you got your trunk hood, <laughs> <laughs> it's trunk hood. well the trunk lid but the thing you is, got your is, neighborhood the, the thing that's interesting it's also i mean this is so much car and so little of it is dedicated to actually accommodating passengers oh that is true well there's but, only one passenger but also that's We've a great steering wheel though as well a great steering wheel. Oh yeah, this is this is a this is a park by field kind of car. I just don't see awesome. that driving Ooh, a front wheel drive. Oh Cadillac. god, go back to That's... that. Go back to that inner brake. No, I can't. It's broken. <laughs> <laughs> the back go. button's broken. <laughs> All right, the interior is looking a little tired, but this is uh, the perfect look, car for Santa. And look at the the brakes are looking Jurassic. Look at that accelerator pedal. <laughs> what about it? It's it awesome. It's on the floor. It's on the right. It's this would be, be a very comfortable thing to, to spend and 23 hours in. Like, it's, got the, it's, got the, it's got the AM radio, too, which is all Santa listens to. I do like the houndstooth. Yep. It'll it'll go Wait, really well with this velvet jacket. Does that have a door release for jacket. the rear passenger? You're going to need new rubber seals, though. You go back to the door. You go back to the door. Sure. He's going to need a, quite a few things. Look at, look at the side. Go back to the door, but also... It's, so this is the door pull. It's just missing a piece of trim. You actually just pull this to close. <laughs> That's, That's where the elves thing. go. That? That's where the elves go when they're riding along. And then the the door the, to open the door from the rear seat, it has this. But that like was a, a one year thing too on the so driver's side. It's got side. redundant door. Yeah, that's what I was that's saying. Cool. But that's that's like the creepiest thing ever, though. If What's somebody that? in the back, if somebody in the back needs a lever so they can get out of the car, because the person well, that's just how spacious it is. Why why is the person in front trying to keep them from getting out? Well, that's why they got rid of it like that year. This is the, the one year when it had it. Sixty-seven. In sixty-eight, in sixty-eight, it got a new door panel and didn't have this. Yeah, it's mm. just because of the car, implication. Car is such a <laughs> nice. <laughs> Jonathan, you are not alone in your concern. <laughs> Total implication. Oh my god! Look at that massive trunk for presents. I mean, this is this is it. Look at the color mm. combo. Go I back. Mean, go. Back. Let's see. The, let's see those brakes again. Oh no, 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 no. They're broken. <laughs> Hold on. And I just can I just say I did the the truck I should have gone, which I don't expect it to be uh judged on, but it would have been for 30 grand exactly for a sale price was uh this one, which oh but you don't have the sleeper cab for yep. the cargo. Well no, I didn't need it because he could put a box because everybody's so worried about his storage. He could just put a box on the back here if he wants it. But what kind of box? Are you going to make that box with zero dollars? I would love to that's, see that. That's what that's what idea. elves are for, Casey, you know, and magic. You know, I just <laughs> like I just like just like the uh, the really apparent rust on this vehicle. 
it's it's got to last 23 what, hours for like 23 hours <laughs> that's all what makes it frankenworth frankenworth it that's what's on says on the car says yeah on the you didn't see that it says frankenworth on the hood well it's oh because it's a kenworth so somebody named it frankenworth that's all okay whatever oh, okay <laughs> It's Jonathan, like what was the truck kit. in Maximum Overdrive? Uh, that was a main Diamond Rio. Truck, Diamond I'm Rio was sure. It? Was, it? Oh, was it Diamond Rio? Diamond Rio. All right, it we've gone to the part of the show where we judge each other's picks and crown a winner for Santa, <laughs> and Santa will have to buy. Should the we just not we vote pick? for this episode? No, should we, we just should, should we vote. just say <laughs> how about we all win and <laughs> we we say Merry Christmas? <laughs> no. Maybe that would work well for you, wouldn't it, Jonathan? <laughs> no, 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 and that's not even for me. That's for the audience. That's not for me. <laughs> That's for the All right, audience. Pearly, you went first. Uh, what did you have again? A ton of tundra. tundra. Really? No, it's, it's okay. Yeah. I liked it. I mean, no. It's a, it's a nice truck. It, did, it didn't really say Christmas to me. That's right. Me neither. And it's a <laughs> it great truck. It's Tundra. That, what do you think this North Pole is? It's Tundra. Okay, Pearly, no, what North are you Pole picking? Is what, is, what is Santa's best pick here in the bunch besides <laughs> your own? Santa's best pick is... God. I can't do that Cadillac. It's too ratty. Um, darn. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a truck and it has and of all the trucks here, the one that I like the best is got has got to be Alana's uh, Ram. Oh, thanks. I take right, back what vote. I said about your truck not being Christmassy. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can vote for it later, Alana. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, Carlos went second with the what did Mustang. you have again? Oh, the Mustang and all the research. <laughs> I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. I'll give you thumbs up for the half for the car, half for the research. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, a, I appreciate I appreciate the effort, not the choice. I'll, I'll take it as a uh, owner and fan of old red trucks. Uh, it's between Casey's and Alana's, so between functionality and style, right? And I got to go with the Ram because I think it just has style. Man, oh man! How is your That's truck? Two. Sitting quietly. <laughs> oh, have you what, winterized what? it? Yes. What I truck do you have? I'll do an episode inside of it one day. <laughs> what truck do you have, Carlos? I have a 72 C10. Ah, nice. Great truck. Very nice. All right, Joey, did you go after Carlos or who went mm -hmm. after Carlos? I have the Challenger, the red oh, Challenger. Yeah. Just oh, like, yeah. I like your pick. Play. It's a cool yeah. pick. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Hey, I got all thumbs up. <laughs> I mean, it depends uh, a lot on magic, but it was a good pick. Well, that's the whole point, right? There's a lot of Mopar love. Is Santa a Mopar guy? <laughs> I guess that's what we've determined. Um, no, no, no. I, Santa wouldn't claim this episode, I don't think. <laughs> but... <laughs> He's got to fix something all year, I guess. <laughs> he'll, he'll disassociate from this. Um, I am going to pick based purely on aesthetics. Yes. And I'm choosing the Eldorado. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> oh my god! It just looks like Santa. Like, what? What kind of Santa do you guys have? A classy a dude. One. A dude it's in a velour suit and driving an El Dorado. Yes, Santa is a pimp. Santa is a little bit. Santa is a little bit. Everybody's favorite I mean, Santa is the first Santa they met as a Jonathan, kid. Right? Think about this for one second. It's a man who goes around at night. He has no known form of income, but he's always given people presents if he thinks they were good or punishments. If he thinks Do you really want to finish this? Do you really want to finish this, Ilana? Because I feel like, well, so far we have Pablo Escobar. We yeah, have, yeah. Um, <laughs> a lot of folks that we do not want to associate with Santa. <laughs> um, who went next? Ilana, you went next with the 93 Ram 150. Definite thumbs up. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Everybody. And what are you picking? Ooh, all right. This is a, this is hard because I mean I think you know I think KC uh, you know was on the same page as me once again with like big red truck and I like the diesel. Jonathan had probably the smartest pick except for the pricing problems. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Joey's was stylish, but you I have to go old and classic. So Tony, I'm going to give this one to you. Whoa. Um, <laughs> Because That's Tom would yell at me miracle. if I didn't. My Tom, he's a big fan of the Eldorado. He's probably buying that car as we speak. Oh my <laughs> good so Next thing you know, it's going to be in my driveway. Thanks a think. lot. Um, Tom is secret Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so where where are we now? Ilana has two, and you have Tony two. Has two. And um, oh, we have three left. Three votes left. Yep. Okay. And I believe you are up. Yeah, Jonathan. 
with the over budget would be insanely expensive. Sorry, yeah, sorry, budget. No. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No. Give me the sideways. I like the idea, but you were way over budget. Right. No, my fault. My fault. Uh, goal for me. <laughs> goal for me. Um, uh, I am going to have to go. I mean, there were within the bounds of this sandbox, uh, there were actually some future choices. But I really got to go with a certain F four hundred and fifty because uh, I mean, dually red diesel. Like, come on, what's Santa gonna rock other than that? That is a sweet. A tundra. I, could, I couldn't find that super singles though to put on it. <laughs> yeah, Santa's gonna have something to say about that. I guarantee. I'll split my coal with you. <laughs> All right, which brings us to Casey's. It was a three hundred and fifty or a four hundred and fifty. Three four hundred and fifty. Four hundred and fifty. Right? Thumbs up. Great choice. Great truck. And what are you oh, picking? Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like whether, whether, it's like, do we, do we give, do we flip Tony? I mean, I think Tony, I think he won. I don't think there's any. No, he, I, no, no, I have no, two. Tony, Alana has two. Are you going to vote for the yeah, Eldorado? We're, we're tied. Exactly. Ooh. You have you one. I mean, so it's really, it's really up to it you, is Casey. bonus season. So yeah, I was thinking. Well, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, uh, um, oh man, I mean, the challenger was Santa? nice. Challenger was nice. Integrity. No, it's it's <laughs> integrity. Yeah, yeah, integrity. Yeah. That, integrity. That's what we all want it's, for Christmas. <laughs> it's, it's Alana's Dodge. Aww. Nice. You'd look yeah. good in that Dodge. Oh man. So Alana takes the win. I like since my I can't vote yeah. for myself. But you guys can rate my Eldorado, my 67 Eldorado. Dude, I'm okay. giving you a thumbs up. Except, for except for whatever's happening so on ratty. that. On those brakes, <laughs> it's a little ratty, but it's fine. I was under budget. Um, I like and- that hood, I like that hood uh, uh, stat you had, though. Yeah, that's a that's good one. Cool. Yeah. GM like, will find a way. I like Joey, and I like where Joey and Carlos's heads were. I like those. Um, uh, but I really, when I saw Casey and Alana's pickups, I was really like, yes, those are perfect for Santa. And of the two, I'm gonna go with the Dodge. The classic Dodge, classic shape. So Alana Holy wins God, with man, four man. convincing win to two yeah. <laughs> with authority. And I've never even celebrated Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why you won as an outsider. <laughs> Maybe I was able to come to it with a lot of objectivity. <laughs> exactly. Clearly. <laughs> well, thanks for watching and thanks for this suggestion, uh, which came through. Uh, an this was email. an audience suggestion. Yeah, yeah I'm like, email. whoa. So, Pearly, now you know where your anger goes. It goes to a lot of people. I have a lot of built-up anger over this one. I, 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 here I am, the Christian. I'm the, I'm the guy who goes to church. I'm the Christian, and I get shut out. You're the yeah, you the Christian? The Christian? The only one. What, what does everybody want? What, what's everybody hoping for for the holidays? What do you want in your stocking? A 67 Eldorado. <laughs> Yeah, I think none I'm of getting these. front brakes for uh for a Trans Am. <laughs> I want my uh I want uh I I, I want another puppy. Another oh. one already? I want two. I want a pu- I want a friend for a Caroline. Mm. So that's not good. All right. Do you want Charles, mine? You I've got three. You can have them all. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you get another dog, name it the city. <laughs> oh no, God. I'm not gonna go Caroline this. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the city. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be that. <sighs> All right. Thanks for watching. Um, please keep commenting and leaving suggestions in the comments. I'm sorry, Pearly's so bored today. Ah, I'm not bored. <laughs> he's he's he just, angry. He can't wait to get outside and drive that car that got dropped off during this. <laughs> what what got dropped off? Silverado ZR2. Oh, okay. Perfect for Santa. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> probably like that. But way over budget, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> well thanks for watching and cheap 30 grand what? thanks for watching hit the subscribe button you know, think, and consider yeah, subscribing think, to the magazine pearly stop interrupting no, everyone. no 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 no, 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 no. one more think, thing one more thing Drop our new Magnum V8 into a Dodge Ram 150 full-size pickup, and you'll get more horsepower than Ford and Chevy's 5-liter V8s. Dodge